Hey guys, in this video we're going to solve logarithmic word problems. So the process is similar to exponential word problems. It's just we don't have a catch-all formula that's really going to work for everything. Like we had the A equals P to the ERT in the last video. Um, logs are a little bit more tricky. Uh, but the first thing we need to figure out the log equation and then we need to solve the log equation. And then we need to apply it to the problem and see if it makes sense, especially because logs only exist on a limited domain. So the three examples we're going to use here is the box office revenue from Finding Nemo, the box office revenue from Terminator 3, and sound, or how we measure loudness. So let's take a look at our first example. So the cumulative box office revenue from the movie Finding Nemo can be modeled by the logarithmic function Rx equals 78.05 times ln of x plus 1 plus 114.3 where x is the number of weeks since the movie opened, and r of x is given in millions of dollars. So r of x is the revenue. How many weeks after the opening of the movie was the cumulative revenue equal to 300 million? Okay, well they are saying, okay, r of x equals 300 million. Solve for x, 0 0.05 times ln of x plus 1 plus 114.3. Three. All right. First thing we got to do is clear out the letter. Let's subtract 104.3 from both sides. Point three. Uh, okay. I want my white pen. There it is. Okay. What is 300 minus 114.3? 14.3. Unfortunately, I'm not making a calculator. 185.7 equals 78.05 times ln of x plus 1. All right, we got a little more clutter to clear out, and it's getting rid of this 78.05. So we're going to divide 5, divide both sides by that. What we're trying to do is we're trying to isolate the ln on the right. 85.7, or sorry, 185.7 divided by 78.05 gives us 2.38. Okay, now how do we get rid of the ln? Well, we exponentiate everything with e because e and ln are inverses of each other. So what is e to the uh, 2.38, 2.38, well that is 10.8, so 10.8 on the left, E and LN, so we have X plus 1 on the right, subtract 1 from both sides, X equals 9.8. So what is the question, how can we answer this in words? You ask a question in words, you answer it in words, how many weeks after the opening of the movie was the cumulative revenue equal to 300 million? Nine. Point eight weeks after, which is huge. Um, Finding Nemo did great. Obviously, three hundred million dollars is a lot of money. Okay, let's see if we can do the same thing about Terminator Three. So, Terminator Three, the revenue is modeled by this equation here, similar to Finding Nemo, where x is the number of weeks since the movie opened and r of x is in millions. How many weeks after the opening of the movie did the cumulative revenue reach 140 million? Okay, so R of X equals 140 million. 26.203 times ln of X plus 90.798. So let's start clearing out clutter. We want to get to the ln. 798 minus 90.798. So many decimals. All right, 26.203 times ln of x will be on the right now. 140 minus 90.798. On the left, 49.2. 49.2. Now let's get rid of the 26. 0.203, those cancel, divided by 26.203, 
So the right side now, our ln of x is going to drop out, which is what we want. We just need to divide 49.2 divided by 26.203, which gives us 1.88, if I'm rounding the two decimal points. Okay, how do we get rid of that e, or sorry, how do we get rid of the ln? We're going to use e. We're going to exponentiate both sides, and then that e to the ln will cancel because inverse is, so x will drop out on the right. And on the left, we have to figure out what e to the 1.88 is, and we get 6.55. So what's the question asking and what does this mean? So X is the number of weeks since the movie opened. So when will cumulative revenue be 140 million? 6.55 weeks after opening and Terminator will make a bunch of money. All right, let's look at our last one. Okay, last problem. This has to do with sound and decibel levels. So the decibel, dB, is a unit that is used to express the relative loudness of two sounds. One application of this is the relative value of the output power of an amplifier with respect to the input power. Because power levels can vary greatly in magnitude, the relative value d of power level p1 with respect to other power level p2 is given in units of decibels. In terms of the logarithm and their ratios as follow. So d equals 10 log p1 divided by p2 where the values of P1 and P2 are expressed in the same units such as watts. If P2 equals 75 watts, find the value of P1 at which D is equal to 0.7. So D is equal to 0.7, 10 times log of find P1, so we're going to find P1, and P2 is 75. So we're all set up, we're going to try to solve this for P1. First things first, clear out the clutter. So divide everything by 10. So divide by 10 on both sides. This will give us 0 0.07 on the left. On the right, we'll just have log of P1 over 75. OK. Um, let's see, how do I undo this log? What could I possibly do? Oh, I could exponentiate it. This is log base 10 by using 10 to that power. So we exponentiated both sides. These guys undo, so we just get P1 over 75 on the right. 10 to the 0 0.07 power is 1.7. One seven. Multiply both sides by 75 to get P1. 75. So when this guy gets multiplied by 75, we get 88.12 rounded. So we get 88.12, and that's me rounding off to two decimal places. And that'll equal P1. Why? Because those guys would cancel. So what does that mean? So where P1 and P2 are expressed in the same unit, such as watts. Okay, so if P2 equals 75 watts, P1 then would equal 88.12 watts. And there we go. So I hope you guys found that valuable today. If you guys have any questions, please, 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 please don't hesitate to ask. I'm here for you guys. Let me know whatever other clarifications you guys need, and I would be happy to help you out. Um, until then, though, I'll see you guys in the next video.